But to talk more now about the rights of women in the poorest nations of the world, I'm joined on the set by Nigerian singer Asha. Thank you so much for coming in thanks, to speak to us. Thanks for having me. Now, you're here not uh, as a singer today, truly, but as an ambassador, an ambassador for a new campaign called Poverty is Sexist, a campaign uh, that's underway from the NGO One. You're one of 50 celebrities, including some big names, Elton John, Meryl Streep, Robert Redford, to join up in this fight. Why is this fight such an important one for you? Well, um, because it's uh, it's very important to talk about uh, women and girls' position. Um, I think it's high time we uh, focus on this, and not just once every year, but it's something we have to talk about every day because it's very important. If we want to eradicate poverty, that is, that we must focus on the other um, uh, the, the other uh, gender that's been ignored for so long. Let's talk a bit more in detail about this idea about poverty being sexist. Uh, yeah. Tell me a bit more about that. Well, the girl and woman are uh, vulnerable. Um, poverty is not um, easy on women for, because security-wise, you know, they're prone to rape and diseases and all kinds of things. They, they suffer more, you know, uh, or is either... Uh, the quickest idea that comes to a family with girl ch uh, children who are poor is, oh, you, you, you go into marriage or you prostitute. That's why we said uh, poverty is actually sexist. It's not um, equal, you know, when it comes to women and girls. And it's particularly bad in Africa. 15 of the 20 worst countries to be a woman, according to a study, are in sub-Saharan Africa, Niger, Somalia, Mali being the top three. Why so bad there? Well, because I think people's idea of the woman is not as um, as we have it in in the Western world. I know women all over the world. Uh, it's it's a fight. Even in America, you see it in the news newscasters, the, the, um, Clinton, and you know you hear a lot of things they say about her because she's a woman. And, and now for developing countries like uh, Mali, Niger that have absolutely no idea why a woman should be seen or heard. Uh, it's, it is a lot of, um, it's a lot of work to convince people to tell them why a woman matter or a girl child matters, uh, why a girl shouldn't be an object, you know. So it's very important uh, to, to focus on these regions, you know. Uh, but France is pretty much, you know, ad advanced. Uh, I know women are still going through a lot. Uh, in terms of pay, they're not paid equally, uh, but it's it's imagine it's zero in this in these uh, developing countries. But as you say, it's so often a question of culture and what people believe and what they've yeah. been brought up to exactly. believe. Exactly. So how do you change people? How do you change men's attitudes well, in sub-Saharan Africa? I think um, I think I'll change girls' attitude. Because the people who are against women are men and women. I think we have to start with the girls. I'm a role model. That's why I'm even part of this. I am considered celebrated. That's why I'm, I'm one of the minute voices with one. And when girls see that, you know, I'm, I can be successful by not giving up myself, that is a, a good example. And hopefully I, have, I've, I do have brothers. And when I have a, a son, I would definitely teach him how to, to respect women, but I have to also try to convince my brothers why they have to respect women. But first, I think the work has to be girl to girl, woman that, to woman. That is an interesting point, but it's true. We do have to convince the men as well. Yeah. Again, is there a secret to doing that? It does. What kind of help do we need? <laughs> well, I think the secret is um, success that can be seen. And, and not only that... Uh, just constantly uh, going to these regions and, and, and helping, providing um, for health, you know, food, uh, let people be, be fed. Then they can start to think about other things. Uh, health, if you're not healthy, you can't think about any other thing. So I think that's the first important thing to, to do, to contribute, to donate, to, to, to continue uh, to help these people, these uh, young girls who are in trouble. Uh, in the open letter that you signed along with many of these other celebrities, uh, you talk about 2016 being a very pivotal year. Why? Well, I think last year, the, 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 um, for one, for example, talked about eradicating world poverty. And this time around, I think they focused on, well, we're actually neglecting one part of it. If we have, if we 
uh, have to uh, can achieve this eradicating the world's poverty, then we must focus on the girl because we can't ignore the girl. So I think 2016 is, uh, is, is very important because there are people who are interested, leaders, there are people in the parliament. I mean, there, there, there were 16 ambassadors, one ambassador who saw uh, one of the, the government officials and he was very excited to welcome them. And I also promised to speak to his colleagues to, you know, give this um, ambassadors their time. So I think we, we're getting the ears of those that matter. And, and that's why it's, it's very important to push this agenda this year. All right, Asha, thank you so much for coming in to speak to us. Uh, You are a representative of one.org. If you want to check out that petition and sign it yourself, uh, do so. It is a very good cause. Thank you so much, Asha.